What's up everybody and welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning as well, at least depends on where you are, but for me it's it's just morning. It's the brink of the morning. And then welcome to this update on Ethereum and, and the price of Ether. We'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about some fundamentals coming up next week, a very important ones. Um, and just in general, uh, what you can expect according to my analysis. So let's get right into it. Uh, first of all, some, some fundamental insights. Um, Ethereum itself, volume has been pretty steady, I believe, over the last seven days. Maybe it's dropping a little bit now. Nah, it's dropping a little bit, but it has been steady, um, although we must say steadily low. And the reason for that is I also said that in the Bitcoin uh, video. Today I'm uploading the Bitcoin and Ethereum analysis again. Um, the reason for that, I believe, is, uh, is, well, maybe it's also just because of the bear market, right? Uh, we, we have to include that. That's definitely true. Um, but apart from that, we also... It's kind of right now, it's kind of the calm before the storm. Because next week we actually have some very, very important fundamentals, which I cannot show because the site I always use is, uh, is, is kind of lagging out. Or at least I cannot go to next week. <laughs> uh, but I'll tell you what's, what's going to happen. Uh, the inflation rate and, and interest rate update from the US, uh, from the Federal Reserve, the interest rate it is. Um, it's coming out, which is probably going to be bullish for crypto. We don't know. It's, it, it also depends on, on the outcome of the inflation rate. Um, but then it's also probably going to be bearish for, for the DXY. So therefore, it's, it's bullish for crypto. But right now, that leaves us in, in a weird space. Like, can we already go up now in, in anticipation of the news? Or is it more likely to manipulate it a little bit down before the news and then go up once it actually released? Um, which is something I have seen quite a lot before in, in the last, uh, well, year, I think. So right now we're in that weird phase where, where the market also kind of doesn't know where to go, doesn't know what to do. Um, so what we saw yesterday is that we had quite a big bearish fundamental move, which probably also had to do with everything that was going on around, uh, around those fundamentals. And what I said is that, all right, we'll probably drop down to, uh, to 12.20, which we did, find some support there. Take a break retest off of the uh, key level we just, uh, you know, which was our support, but w which we just broke through, uh, which technically is between 1240 and 1260, technically, but right now it was more around 1240, 1250. So I said we would take a break retest and drop down even further towards uh, 12, uh, 1200 and 1190. And then from there, consolidate and, and start going up again once the uh, fundamentals get closer. But I have to be honest with all of you. Uh, analyzing now is, is, is super hard. Uh, like these market circumstances are perhaps the most difficult ones to uh, to analyze in. Uh, that's just me being honest. I mean, just technically and, and based off of my experience with, with moments like these, I still think it's more likely uh, that we will take a break retest off of 1240, 1250, and that we will drop down to 1200 and 1190. Now, I don't see any reason why we would break through that. I think this is going to hold. I think we can consolidate. And what I expect is that maybe at the end of the weekend or something. So yeah, that still takes a couple of days and updates from me. Um, leading up to the weekend, we can actually, you know, get that breakout above 1240 again, rise up towards 1300, and then we'll start at 1300 next week. Something like that is, is what I expect. Uh, overall, the fundamentals right now are, are more bullish than bearish, especially the economic uh, circumstances as in those fundamentals are way more bullish than bearish, but the market doesn't always work like that, all right? So the market could still be manipulated down quite a bit before we get those bullish fundamentals and the inflation rate could also be higher than expected, then that shakes up the whole uh, crypto world. So um, it's going to be tough, uh, tough few days to analyze, but for now, this is my analysis. I still think this is the most likely scenario given all the fundamentals. Um, but yeah, if you do have any questions, if you want to say anything about it, let me know down in the comments. And for now, take care, have a great day and bye.